السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good morning students Welcome to our science class Are you ready today? Yeah, but I'm not ready for Absolutely <laughs> Okay, now let's review our classroom rules before we start Sign in on time, find some quiet place to study I want you guys to listen Look yes. at the screen, raise your hand, answer when teacher calls your name. Do not draw on the screen and do not talk to your friends. And please guys, keep your microphones muted until the teacher calls your name. Ask okay you. guys, are you ready to start? Let's begin. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, uh, miss? great, today is Thursday. Weekend, yay! The date is 1st of October 2020. Yay! We are studying happy. science. Miss, I'm so happy. We are going to learn about people in science. Yes, Miss, Talia. Happy new month. Yes, Talia. There is a new girl student. She's been with us for two classes. Okay, welcome, new student. Miss, I have, uh, I cannot see anything at all or I cannot hear you. You cannot hear me? No, I cannot. Or I cannot see anything. It's you cannot me. see? Ma Miss, no. let her show her face. Maybe she's in with us, but she... Maybe she's her. not a new student. Yeah. Miss, should I go face. and then come back? Okay, I will stop sharing my screen Says, okay. and I will share it again, okay? What I do, I don't, I cannot hear you. She, said, she says, okay, she will unshare and share again. Okay. Leanne, I will share my yeah. screen again. Okay. How about now, Leanne? Can you see? Yes, but I cannot hear you. You cannot hear me? <laughs> Leanne? Okay, how about you guys, everyone? I can hear you and see you perfectly. I can hear and see you. Okay, Leanne, then you can perfectly. try to go out and come back again, okay? What? You can try to go out and come back again. I still can't hear you. The miss said you okay. can go back go and come out. back again. Go out and go back again. Okay. So she can hear you guys, but not hear me? I think so. Yes. She cannot hear you, or, but yeah. she can hear us. Okay, we are going to start. Okay, guys? Today we are going to talk about people in science. Let's see what do we have here. If you can't see clearly from the screen, I advise you to open the book page 43. Okay, page 43. It's already here in the top corner of the screen, 43. I see okay? it. Good. We are going to talk about inventors today. We have two or three inventors. We are going to learn about them. Retail, is that you? Yeah. See, my girl, it's uh, in the no. top corner, 43. No. It's page 43. Like I open, see? Rital? Uh, Rital, are you here? Yeah. Okay, good. Good, good. Now, now the first inventor we are going to talk about is John Dibbled. Talia, can you read for us about John Dibbled? Let's see what did he invent. Miss? Yes, Talia? Yes. Do you hear me? I can yes, hear you. Le yes, Leanne, I can John. hear you. Welcome back. Now, Talia John is going to read Dibble. for us about an inventor. We want to know what did he do and what did he study to be an inventress? Dr. Jean Dibbled spent much, much of his life studying Earth Earth's oceans, he worked in the lab and in the field. He studied volcanoes at, and 
Anne sent I see. I sent ice sheets and falls of cause earthquakes underwater. Doctor nice. Yes, Doctor Dibble. Doctor Dibble improved the design and of the air gun. A tool uses to use to make underwater sounds waves. Then he used these sounds waves to make 3D pictures of the ocean floor. Thank you. Thank you, Talia. Now, who can tell me the main idea about this paragraph? What did John Dibble study or what did he do? Or what Talia was reading about? Yes. Yes, yes Rihanna. Mm -hmm. He was studying about volcanoes, Earth, Earth, Ocean. Yes, Earth, Ocean. And volcanoes, I think. Excellent. So, can you underline the, these lines? All okay. the lines? No, it's underline the main idea. Can I highlight them? Do you know how to underline the main idea? Yeah. Okay. Can I highlight them, please? Can I yes, highlight? Yes, you can highlight. You can highlight, of course. Now, Dr. John Dibbled spent much of his life studying what? Earth's oceans. Yes, Earth oceans. And what did he, where did he work, Yariana? Yeah, where did he work? Rihanna, are you there? Sorry, he work in the lab. Excellent, in the lab, only in the lab? Um, I know what else. And field. I know. In the field, excellent. What is the field? So he worked in the lab and in the field. Now, Lynn, what did he study? He studied volcanoes and sent ice sheets. And what? And faults that cause earthquakes underwater. Excellent. Good job. Okay, and Dr. Debold improved the design of the air gun. What is the air gun? This is the picture of the air gun. Now let's see what is the air gun. Where is Maria? Maria, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, can you tell me what is the air gun? An air gun is a tool used to make underwater sound waves. Then he used these sound waves make 3D pictures on the ocean floor. So basically, the air gun is about what? To make what and what? To make sound waves. Excellent. And then he will take picture, 3D pictures of the? Ocean floor. Yes, excellent. Much of Earth's oceans are too deep to study directly. John Debold used many tools like the air gun to help people study the ocean. So, guys, is it interesting to study about ocean? Very yes. Yes. Very. Is it very, easy very. to study mm -hmm. under ocean? Kind of not really. really. Not, not really. Why the ocean really videos. focus? Not really, but everything not can be easy. Yes, like Rihanna, everything you can study about, even if it's not easy, because we have tools, or you can make tools to make it easy for you. So what we learn is using science tools make it easier for you to study science. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah. Are we also gonna read yes. about Martin? Uh, call. Of call, course, call. of course, Lean. But I want you to look at the screen with me, and we will go step by step together. Okay, Lean. 
Leon? Leon. Thank okay. you. Why do you always be confused about my name? I'm very sorry, my dear. I'm really sorry. Leon and there Leon. Are lots of elves in this. I love you both and I love you all. Now let's see, Martin. What is Martin read. doing? I want to read. You want to read, Leon? I want to no? read. Yes. Okay. Me. I will make Leon read after I told you. After I tell you stop, Leon, Leon will complete. Okay, Le Leon. Okay. Leon. Leon. Again, Leon I'm confusing. Reads. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Leon will start yeah. when I tell you stop. Leon, you will complete. Okay. Can you? Is see it really Leon, Leon or is it just a mix? No, it's not a mix. Leon will start after that. Leon will continue. Okay, deal? Deal. Guys, I want you to concentrate to tell me what is the main idea about this paragraph, okay? Leon, please start. Okay. Martin Culpepper. Culpepper. Yes. Dr. Martin Culpepper, Pepper is a mach machinical engineer. Are you he sure? Can you read it again? M mechanical. Can I help you with that? Yes. Mechanical engineer. Mechanical? Yes. Then why miss we they have the H and the C? It's about English. So it's English language, my dear. Oh. If it's science, I would gladly answer you. <laughs> oh. Okay, so Dr. Martin, Mechani mechanical, mechanical engineer. engineer. He invented tools that work with machines so small, so small you cannot see them with a regular light microscope. Thank you. The you can stop here. Okay. Leon? Can you complete? Okay. These machines are many times smaller than uh, than the thickness of a human hair. One day, these tiny machines would could be used to find cancer cells. Unlike Doctor Dick Van Doctor Dibbled. Dibble, Dr. Cup, Cull Pepper. Cull Pepper does most of his research in a lab. His lab has to be dust free. A tiny bit of dust could ruin the results of his investigation. Thank you. Thank you. Now, who can tell me the main idea about this paragraph? Guys, you know how to raise the hand in the chat. Can you use it, please? Okay, good. I can see scientist Talia, Rihanna, Le Lila. Are you Lean? Okay, Dr. Maria and Lea. Let's see. Okay, let's see, Maria. Um, the main reason in this um, sentence is about his um, investigations, like his tools that are really, really small and they can really, really um, Look. Like help. Uh, sorry, again, uh, can you raise your voice so I can hear you more clear? What do you want me to you said he's using tools to see things are really small, small? Yes. Okay, can you name this tool? What did he use? Mm. He used tiny machines. Really? Again. Yeah. Again. Regular light microscope. Excellent, good job. So he used a light microscope. This is the first one he used. Then later. Later he used. I can't see it. 
Okay. Teacher, can I leave and come back in because it's getting a bit blurry? Okay, can you open your book? It's in page 43. Okay. You can, yes. Teacher, they can we can underline it? Find. They get you so they can find cancer cells. Okay, but first he used a regular light microscope and this regular light mic microscope can let you see what small things, tiny things. After that, tiny machines. See, he invented tools that work with machines so small you cannot see them with a regular light microscope. Okay, so he invented another one that can make you see things are very small than the thickness of a human hair. Is that right? Yes. These machines are able to do what? Find cancer cells. Teacher, I said that. Okay, sorry, I couldn't hear you clear. I'm very sorry, Maria. Thank you for your answer. Thank you. Okay, most of her research, his research, where did he do it? In lab or field? Let me ask you, Rital. Where did he did where did he do his research? A lab. Excellent. He needs a lab to do them. Okay. What about the lab? What about the lab? The lab must be very clean or it's fine to be some dust or another things? It's fine to be some dust. Really? It's fine? Okay. No, no, no. Rihanna, can you tell me Rihanna? This lab uh, no. should be what? Should be clean. And dust free. Imagine even yeah. dust, yeah. it should be so dust cool. free. And um, why is that? Because this microscope is um, able a to- A tiny bit of dust could ruin, ruin the result. The result of Investigation. Yes, excellent. Because even a small bit of dust can be seen in this microscope and it will ruin your investigation. If you are looking for cancer cells or something else, you cannot see clear if there is some dust. So the lab must be very clean. That's how much is the microscope is very accurate. So over here, these gears are many times smaller than a millimeter. Imagine the millimeter, it's very smaller, okay? Dr. Culpeper's tools can be used to assemble objects this small. See, he can see or go through. Things are very tiny, tiny stuff. Now let's see what do we have next in the next page. Look at this picture. This picture shows what? Can you tell me? Yes, Bushra. Can I read? Of course you can read, of course. In the, th wait, where do you want me to read? Yes, in the field. Oh. In the field, scientists often work in the field or the world outside of labs. What did Mr. D. Blood lived, list, learn from his students in the field? Research okay. done by Mr. D. Blood and others in the field led to the development of maps like this one. The, the map shows rock and sed sediment layers beneath the ocean floor. Now, can you answer the question from what you read? Uh, yeah, I think. 
Okay. So scientists often work out outside. Yes. He learned stuff outside. He did research. He can help. He learned. He can learn more. And he saw set. Wait, development like maps. Uh, his field led to development like maps. Okay. So when he go out in the field and study things, he can bring what samples to his lab and uh, like, do his uh, research test? using his yeah. tools. Exactly. That's what scientists are. Okay, now this picture shows what, from what Bushra said or read. Can you tell me? Look at the right paragraph. This picture shows what? Do you have any idea, guys? Is it surface beneath the sand mint? Whatever it's called. Is that <laughs> again, look, Bushra. This is, ah. again, on the right paragraph, this one. This map shows you what? It shows something. Shows what? Ice. Kind of, not really. Look at the three lines over here. Sand. Sand. Oh, it shows rock and cement layers beneath excellent. the ocean floor. Excellent, excellent, excellent beneath the ocean floor. So when he goes to the field, he can take a sample and put it under the microscope or using whatever he needs to study about them and know yeah. the layers of the rock and cement beneath the ocean floor. So he learned about the ocean floor and he learned about the ice sheets, volcanoes, and earthquakes. Is that right? Yeah, but Miss, please, I want to write. You want to write? Give us, yeah, give us one minute. Yeah, give us like some minutes. Okay, my dear, I already sent for you the answer no, key for the whole it. pages. Is that right? Through your email. It, so don't worry don't about the writing. You can write later. You will find the answer key in your email. Did you see Ms. the answer key for the last? Miss, I'm in the last oh. word. I'm in the last word. I just need to read I know Ms. how much you love to read and write. And I really love that about you girls. But what I concern about right now is you to understand. Okay? Wait, Miss, I have a question. I just... Um... I'm in the love. I can give you one minute more. Is that okay? okay? After one okay. minute, we will move. Okay, guys? Uh, okay. Okay. It says, uh, it says sample answer. Did you mean simple? No, no, no. It's sample answer. So it's... They you write sample? No, no. You don't write sample answer because you might write something else. Or what did? Okay, what did? Okay. What did you write? What did you write? I wrote sample answer already. Why, Bushra? Bushra, sample answer means, this is an example. For example, you can write, he learned about the ocean floor. That's it. Maybe you can write both of them, the ocean floor and learn about ice Miss, I'm writing. You don't need to. Miss, I can't see the last But I didn't write sample answer. I didn't write it. Yes. Every time you write it, I don't write it. Okay, guys, one minute is already wait. finished. I'm very wait, sorry. Wait, wait. No, 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 I'm no, really no. sorry. Wait. I'm, you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ten seconds. Just one second. Okay, if we finish, if we finish, we, we have I'm only nine minutes left, guys, so we have to finish this. If we finish, I will give it, I will bring back the page. Okay, guys? Okay. Now look at this tiny tool. This tiny tool is for what? It looks... Yes, Leah? Yes, Leah? all black, I can see it. The, the page is no. all black? Yeah. It's not. Guys, no. everyone, can you see the page? Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah, page 44. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone can see the page? I'm really sorry, yes. Leah. I think you have problem with your um, uh, device. This is not the first time, my dear. Can you go out and come back in again? 
Okay. Thank you. Now look at this tiny tool. This tiny tool is what? Who wants to read? Which tiny? Oh, me. Yes. Look at the tool and tell me about it. I want to read. Um, okay. I want to give everyone a chance. So let me see who didn't answer with me. Uh, Liana. Liana, you didn't read. Can you see the screen? Yeah. Okay, good. Can you read, please? This tool is a tiny lecture. It moves and sits into position. The position. Proficient position. The incredibly small part of time. Machines. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. So, what is this tool called? What is it? Yes, Talia. This tool is what? Which tool? Which this one. Finally, I know it's here. I think that is... I wrote it in my notebook. Wait. Did you hear Liana reading? This tiny tool is what? Uh, me please, can I answer? Talia, you raised your hand. Is that right? No. Really? I'm sorry. Okay. I raised my hand. Okay, Rayana. Yes, I didn't, I didn't hear her. Um, I did read my hand. Okay, Rayana. Engine. This is what? Yeah. This tiny tool this is, is what? Incurably. Incurably. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for your try. Thank you for your try. Leanne, can you tell me what is this tool? This tool is a uh, this tool is a tiny lifter. Lifter. What do they mean by lifter? It lifts, it moves and sits into a position. Okay, and it can lift what? Uh, small parts of tiny machines. Okay, thank you. Was it correct? Yes, it is. Now, yes. can you answer this question, guys? Why do you think Dr. Klopper builds machines in a lab? Why would he not build them in the field? Think with me, hmm? why he's building these machines in the lab and not in the field? Uh, um, uh. Yes, Lian. I. Why is he not hmm. building in the field? Because, um, because the science lab is uh, has like more tools, and the field it's every time you try it, you will it's like it will shatter or something. Sometimes it will fail. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your answer. Do you have another answer, guys? Who have another answer? Yes, Leanne. I think because um, in the in the lab he would he would get some focus and then he could focus and then if it was in the field. Um, he could not, uh, no, uh, he can focus and then he can also bring stuff with, like the stuff is already there. He has a big tools, place. you mean, you yes, mean he, he, may, he might need his tools. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you and for your answer. Could be, the field might be hot, uh, very hot. The weather very hot is like. The, uh, let's say 50, 50 uh, uh, Celsius, it's very hot. Okay, thank you. I, I, can he, I can yes. see that you use the unit of the temperature. Good, yes. good job. Thank you. Thank you, dear Leanne. Okay, Talia, do you have another answer? Maybe because outside it would be so hot and his stuff and the sun would just burn the things he made and 
uh, maybe there's going to be rain and uh, it rains over his machine and it breaks and he did a very hard work and you can only do that machine once. Thank you guys. All of your answers are great, mashallah. Mashallah, small scientist. Thank <laughs> you guys. Okay, we'll see about the answer, but first let's see this one. Think about that. How might scientist work be both in the field and in lab? Think of an example. So a scientist might take his work or do his work in both lab and field. Can you yes, think of an, an example? Answer? Is this an open answer? Like yes, of can... course, of course. Okay. But if it's right, you can write my... your answer, your own answer. Okay, now guys, think of some work that can be done in the field and in the lab. Who wants to answer? Me, miss. Okay, let's see Leanne again. I think if uh, in if he could if he was in the field maybe he can do a machine of uh it's a temperature machine like uh, he, it would guess the temperature. Okay, so he might investigate oh. the temperature in the lab and yeah. also outside in the field. If inside his lab, he could do maybe uh, a machine that uh, le just like this, the, this one that we just read, read about it. The one that okay. Dr. Culpepper. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Now, let's see Talia. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you very much. He can... He can build a machine inside the lab, then test it out uh, outside in the field where it's big and a place he can test it out. Thank you. Thank you for your answer. Who else wants to participate, guys? Or you want to see my answer? We want to your see answer. your answer. We want to see yours. Okay, so first over here in the lab, Dr. Mm. Klopper has the equipment and clean conditions. He needs to build a machine made of tiny parts, see? So it's very important that the lab is very clean, okay guys? And over here, scientists might do observational work in the field and then go back to the lab to analyze data or build models based on what they learned. So all your answers was very good. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for participating. Thank you guys for sharing your answers with me. Now, please... If you want to take a screenshot, is it is okay, but don't worry about the right screenshot. Yes. yes, you can take a screenshot, but please, guys, please don't How? worry about the writing because our time is up. I'll be sending you the answer key through your email right away. Okay, guys. Uh Teacher, how do you have a screenshot? Miss, 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 can you just go to the over? The, 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 the answer has minus on us so I you just don't see our faces then just take the screenshot. Just press the open and close button. Guys, uh, miss, is this how we this? talk? You guys, is this how we talk? Please. We need to speak one by one and in turns, and you have to raise your hand until the teacher calls your name to answer or to ask a question, okay guys? Teacher, Please? I did a screenshot. Me too. Leon, did you, Lean, did you hear, hear me, Lean? Yes. Okay, so you me. have to raise up your hand next time, okay? If you want to answer or ask a question or even if you want to say something. So you don't interrupt your friends or your friends can, will be concentrate. Okay, guys, everyone, not only me, okay. this is for all, okay? Thank you guys for uh, participating with me and I wish you have a great weekend. See you inshallah on Sunday. Thank Bye. you guys.